Hey everybody, welcome to 3 Band EQ. I'm your host, Hendo. Today, we're going to be talking about the Mesa Boogie Nomad 100. So what is the Mesa Boogie Nomad 100? At the time of its uh, introduction, it was a very affordable mid to high gain amplifier and also the third prong in a Mesa Boogie's line of amplifiers, which included at that time the uh, Mark series and the uh, Rectifier series. This amplifier is downstream from uh, two two other predecessors of amps, the first being the, uh, the, the dual caliber, uh, which was introduced back in the 80s as the DC-3, DC-5, and DC-10, which then was replaced by the F-Series, um, which I've only ever seen the uh, Mesa Boogie F-100, and then which was then replaced with the Nomad. Uh, Nomad, uh, there was a couple other variants. There was Nom This was the Nomad 100 head. There was also a Nomad 55, which um, did not have the uh, power section uh, EQ, and there was also the uh, corresponding combo versions at the time of its of its uh, release the nomad had unfortunately uh, gained a reputation of being shrill and a not usable amplifier why was that well i think this amp was made um, with as a, a mid focused amplifier um, at the time the metallica was using the mark of 2c plus and also the dual and triple rectifiers um, in a very scooped manner. Those amps sound great scooped. And with this mid-forward amplifier, if you, skip, if you take any of the mids out, it turns into just a, a, a nasty mess. Again, shrill and bad. Um, when I was playing this amplifier back in 2001, I was scooping it. But at the same time, for whatever reason, I thought it sounded great. So with the uh, mid scooped, this left the Nomad as a misunderstood tonal anomaly, which has famously seen complete and unanimous conviction of suck in the Internet's court of opinion. So uh, we're going to be checking out the Nomad 100 and its three, ver uh, three channels. Um, each channel has a, a different voicing. Uh, channel 1, which is the green channel, which is clean, has a uh, clean and pushed channel. The, the, the orange channel has uh, vintage and modern. And the red channel, which is reverse of that, is modern, which is normal, and vintage. So we're going to just... Uh, and also there's a global EQ, which I believe, from what I understand, this uh, EQ, the uh, power section... And you can, if you have it selected like a foot switch, you can take it in and out. Um, some people, I, I mean, you can use it as a uh, as a boost, even though there's already a solo channel, which is a boost as well. You know, there's there's a lot of things you can do with this amp. Anyways, so we're gonna start off the uh, with like a, the, the clean channel. Now we're going to pushed. Also for the EQ, I've got it pretty much with a, a reverse of scooped. Um, everything is the 60 and 240 are uh, going are going up the mountain with the 750, the mid the the mid mid uh, being just a little bit above uh, like a flat and 2200 and 6600 on the way down back down to 
line, uh, not line level, but down to uh, the, the emit. Everything is at, um, nothing is above or below, uh, what's it called? Like, uh, the, the middle. So, yeah. So he, I already got the EQ, so we're going to do the same thing. Okay, now we're going to move on to the orange channel. So this is where it gets a little gainy. So also I have the, uh, the um, each channel is pretty much at flat. Everything's at, everything is at five, is at uh, noon. And I got the gain right around one o'clock, one thirty, two o'clock. The master right about 10 presents. Uh, we're going to go up with put presence at a at a at noon as well change the uh the voicing down to the uh, modern so um i've always noticed that there's a bit of a uh, a volume boost with this when i had this so this is my second nomad that, I, that i've owned my nomad that i bought brand new well relatively brand new i was like the second or third owner but like you know pretty pretty soon like i, I got my purchase was pretty soon after the guy had sold bought it and sold it um it, i don't remember this drastic of a volume boost. Check out the uh, how the uh, the global EQ affects the uh, the orange channel. Now we're going to go into the red channel. This is, I remember when I bought this amp, this, I bought it for the red channel because this was the most like, uh, dual rectifier that you can get. And, um, <laughs> I have a pretty funny memory. Uh, I was working at the music store down in downtown Monterey music unlimited. This amp was, uh, for sale used. And, um, I put it on layaway, cashed out my retirement, took a couple weeks for, uh, those checks to clear and, get into my bank account um and uh my manager uh kept this amp uh with the 212 that came with uh not uh in a closet down near the sheet music and i would play it almost every lunch break for those two or three weeks waiting for that cat for, the, for, for that money to come through Oop. anyhow so i remember I, vi I have a vivid funny memory of playing uh this riff and there someone knocking on the door in the closet it was a girl she was probably like a little bit like she was like like my age and she's like oh blink 22 and i'm like yeah blink 22 and then she walked off because <laughs> she had something better to do and you know 
I was working at a music store on my lunch break, and I had nothing else better to do than play this riff poorly. <laughs> Again, we started this off uh, channel like the red channel, channel three, um, in modern normal. Um, we're going to now go down, flip it down to the vintage. Back up to uh, modern uh, with the EQ. <laughs> This amp, like uh, its dual uh, rectifier and triple rectifier, or rectifier uh, brethren, has a uh, solo function. I think that this is a uh, compressor built into the amp. Um, it kind of functions the same way. We're going to check it out um, on channel, in the red channel, channel 3. Um, yeah, it does do, give a pretty good boost. So I have the, the solo um, at about 2, 2.30. Not quite 3 o'clock. Um, yeah. So, yeah, so we're going to be, let's we'll just play a couple of those. So, uh, to prove my point, uh, let's just, like, um, I'm going to play very softly. The Nomad 100 is a three-channel amp with a five-band EQ, which can be taken in and out of the chain either as, as a, a switch on the amp or a button on the, on the foot switch, which is a seven-pin cable standard for all the boogies at that time. As a multi-watt amp, you have the choice of either full or half wattage at 100 or 50 with impedances of 8 ohms or parallel 4 ohms if you're running one or two cabinets. There is a direct out, but this amp is from the early 2000s, so there's no cab sim at all. Four 6L6 tube, uh, tubes in the power section with four 12A6 AX7s in the preamp section. Parallel effects loop and slave output, and you've got yourself an option forward amp at a competitive price back in 2000. Um, when I bought my first amp in 2001, it came with a 212 uh, cab. A vertical cab and it think it retailed for about 1600 uh, at that time I could have bought the head alone for $1,200 and my buddy had bought a Mesa boogie uh, dual rectifier uh, used on eBay um, actually I can't remember if it was eBay or not but this is like 2001 might have been eBay um, for about $1,500 so a little bit cheaper than the dual rectifier, the dual rectifier's brother, um, but you know, about the same price. Anyways, again, this is uh, Hendo from uh, Three Band EQ. Thank you for checking out the Nomad 100, and I hope you uh, hope you have a good rest of your day. Thank you. <laughs>